Hello there and uh, welcome back to my new video. So in this video I am going to teach you how to request a single and a multiple permissions in your application using Jetpack Compose. Now uh, for that purpose we will use uh, one uh, well-known library called uh, Accompanist and this library specifically is uh, called uh, Jetpack Compose Permissions. Now even though this library is uh, still uh, experimental we can use it without a problem and uh, everything uh, will work fine. So I have already prepared uh, one uh, project for that purpose, so we don't have to write the code uh, from scratch. The only thing that you need to check uh, with your uh, project is that you have uh, added this uh, accompanist uh, library to your uh, dependency or to your Grail build file. So there we go. We have just uh, specified that accompanist permissions uh, dependency. We can close that now. Uh, as you can see now, uh, my main activity contains uh, uh, one uh, function here, a composable function called the request permission and uh, as a parameter we have specified the actual permission which uh, we want to request. So of course that permission needs to be uh, declared in our Android manifest file as well. I have declared here one more permission, a camera, which uh, will be used in our second example where uh, I'm going to show you how to request uh, multiple permissions at the same time as well. But uh, for now, let's just uh, focus on uh, requesting a single permission in our application. So I'm going to start this application in my Android emulator. And as you can see, uh, by default, whenever I run this application, we will see this message that will say, uh, give this app a permission to proceed. If it doesn't work, then uh, you'll have to do it manually from the settings. And we can also see this request button. So this uh, message uh, will be visible whenever we uh, run this application for the first time and only if a user uh, denies our application permission permanently. So you will see about that. Uh, now whenever we press this request button, uh, then this permission uh, pop-up uh, will appear so that we can uh, allow or deny the permission to our user or to this application. So let's uh, press allow this time and you're going to see a message that will say permission granted. So uh, now let me just um, remove that application from my Android uh, emulator so we can run this um, application once again and that we can uh, deny uh, that permission uh, next time. So this time let's request this permission and let's deny it. So if we deny it the first time then we will see this uh, pop-up which will say that uh, we need to actually uh, grant this application permission if we want to use this application functionalities. So now if I press this uh, give permission button then that uh, pop-up will appear but a new uh, option here will show and that new option is uh, called deny and don't ask again. So if you select this uh, third deny and don't ask again permission option uh, then our application will uh, no longer be able to provide you this uh, permission pop-up and you will have to uh, grant that permission manually. So let's uh, choose for example this deny and don't ask again. So now as you can see, uh, we can see that uh, same message from before. But now if we press request, then uh, nothing will happen. Which means that now we need to manually enable this uh, permission. And for that, of course, we can just uh, uh, double uh, or just uh, hold on our uh, application. To go to app settings, we can go to permissions now. And we can just uh, now allow this uh, context permission manually by ourselves. So now we have allowed that permission. We can go back to our application and as you can see now that permission has been granted. So uh, let me now show you the actual uh, request permission uh, composable function which I have made for this uh, project. So as you can see this uh, function actually accepts uh, three different parameters. The first one is the actual permission which we are requesting and the second and the third parameter are the messages which we are providing to the user. So the first message is uh, when we actually deny the permission and the third message or the second message is a rational message. So uh, below that you can see that uh, we have uh, one variable permission state and we are using a remember permission state uh, composable function from this uh, accompanist library and that uh, state is uh, passed uh, down in this uh, handle request uh, composable function uh, down below. And as you can see that the function contains three parameters. The first one is the permission state, which we are using to determine whether uh, our permission status is granted or denied. And if we have granted the permission, then we are displaying the content composable here. And if we have denied the permission, uh, then we are displaying this denied content instead, along with this should show rationale uh, variable 
which uh, will return true if the rationale uh, should be presented to the user or it will return false otherwise. Okay, so now as you can see that this uh, content uh, basically contains uh, just a simple uh, text and a button. Uh, that uh, button uh, just uh, contains one uh, text which will say request and with that we are just requesting a new permission. So as you can see this uh, button can be either visible or not visible based on that uh, boolean value which we are passing to this content uh, composable by default. So by default its value is true and we are passing this uh, content uh, right here. So as you can see this is our uh, content composable function. The text uh, is permission granted whenever we uh, grant the permission to our user and we are also hiding that request button. Otherwise if we deny the permission then we are displaying this uh, permission denied content. And that composable function is down below, so there you go. Uh, that composable function will just display this uh, alert dialog. It will uh, show either a denied uh, or a rational message. And this permission denied content composable function uh, basically contains uh, both of those messages. So if this uh, should show rationale returns true, then we are displaying this alert dialog. Otherwise, we are just uh, displaying our content. So basically, that's uh, how our... Um, uh, request permission composable function uh, works uh, behind the scenes. So, so I have created uh, all those composable functions by myself and now you can see uh, how actually easy it is to just request the permission with uh, basically one line of code. So just call this request permission function and pass the exact permission which you want to request. Uh, okay, so that was uh, the first uh, composable function which uh, basically displayed or requested a single permission. Uh, now I'm going to show you this uh, other composable function which uh, basically requests uh, multiple permissions at the same time. Now uh, let me just uh, show you that uh, composable function. So it's uh, basically the same as our uh, single permission, only this time we are using remember multiple permission state instead of this uh, remember permission state. Okay, as you can see everything uh, here is uh, almost uh, identical. Uh, only this uh, handle requests um, uh, composable function is a little bit different from before. So here we are checking uh, all permissions and uh, if uh, all those permissions uh, are actually uh, granted then this result variable uh, will return true. And only if that's true then we are displaying this uh, content otherwise we are displaying this uh, denied content which is of course our content composable function and permission denied content composable function as well. So now uh, let me just uh, remove this application uh, from my Android emulator so we can uh, run this application once again, only this time we will request uh, multiple permissions instead of the one. Now uh, there is one more thing uh, which you need to be aware of. So uh, the official Android developers documentation says that uh, we shouldn't request uh, multiple permissions at the same time. Instead we should request those permissions sequentially one by one. Which basically means that we should request uh, each one of those permissions at the place in our application where we actually need that uh, permission to enable a certain functionality in that application. So for example, if we want to open up the camera by pressing a button, then when pressing that button, we should request the camera permission and nothing else. But anyhow, I just wanted to show you that you can also request multiple permissions at the same time. So now let me show you. So click this request button. And as you can see, the first uh, permission which we are requesting is our contact permission. So uh, allow permission test to access your contacts. Now we can click allow and the other permission request uh, will be shown immediately afterwards. So this time we have uh, requested the, our camera permission and if I click deny then we're going to see this message which will basically say that uh, we should uh, grant our application all permissions if we want to continue using this application. So now if I press that button then now I'm going to be prompted to grant the permission only to my uh, camera permission because the read context permission has already been granted. And if I now click allow then the permission granted screen uh, will be shown which means that now we have granted uh, all those permissions which we have requested. Okay, so uh, now you have seen uh, how easy it is to request uh, single and uh, multiple permissions using uh, a company's library. If you have uh, any questions, uh, feel free to comment down below and uh, also be sure to like this video if you find it uh, helpful, of course. And uh, see you next one.